Welcome to How to Keep Your Cool, Managing Anger from Rick Smith Hypnosis. During this session, you'll be given the opportunity to change your perspective and to deal with the source of your anger in a gentle and careful way. So let's get into that right now. When you're ready to begin, please make yourself comfortable and just listen to the sound of my voice. First, check yourself to make sure you're absolutely ready to go into hypnosis. And when you know it's time, take a slow, deep breath in, hold it for a second, close your eyes and release it at your own speed. And as the breath flows out of you, feel your body begin to anticipate how good it's going to feel to let yourself relax deeply as you've done before. And let your body relax now, whilst you allow your breathing to find its own slow, steady rhythm. Breathing in and out at exactly the correct speed for your body to take the nourishment it needs from each and every breath. And on your next breath in, I'd like you to just open your eyes at the top of the breath and then as you release the breath from your body, allow your eyes to close gently again as you deeply relax. Good. And now as you breathe at your own speed, you feel your whole body begin to synchronize with your breathing so that each time you breathe in, you feel the life-giving air flowing through your whole body. And as you breathe out each time, you allow yourself to become even more deeply relaxed, feeling lazy and wonderful. And you know how good it will feel to go deeper so why not allow yourself to go all the way down now as I start to count from 10 down to 1. 10. You're committed to finding a state of deep relaxation. This time and every time you use hypnosis and just this thought may be enough that you already begin to feel yourself more relaxed than a few moments before. Nine. And so you've given yourself permission to do nothing else right now than allow the lazy, sensual feeling of releasing all the tension from your muscles and joints. As you begin to settle into the journey to calmness and tranquility. Eight. Deeper still. Your body now so limp and floppy that you start to lose touch with your physical awareness. As you place your body in temporary hibernation. You won't be needing it for a little while, so just allow it to rest. 7. Move your attention to your face. And as you become aware of how your skin and the tiny muscles of your face can easily be made to relax even more. And your face feels different now. And it's a wonderful, careless, lazy feeling. As you completely release those muscles and just allow yourself to be. Six. Now your body and your face are totally relaxed and you're drifting safely. I'd like you to turn your attention back to your breathing. And 
you can notice how this state of deep relaxation has slowed your breathing even more. And five. Each time you breathe out, you naturally go deeper. As you've done before. And you possess knowledge about how effortlessly you can settle into this deepened state of consciousness where you are the beneficiary of the personal power of change. Four. Now you begin to notice that your breathing is happening deeper in your body. Lower down in your abdomen. And that kind of breathing feels good to you. And it is good, the best kind of breathing. Three. Now your body is resting and your breathing is happening at exactly the right speed. As you slowly drift down to that relaxed state that you've enjoyed so much, so many times and you know how good it feels. Two, as you start to notice that your descent is slowing, as you approach the basement of your relaxation, and you may be curious about what will be the positive effect this time, And one, you're there, totally relaxed, feeling wonderful. And you may now rest for a moment and settle into the gentle rhythm. Aware of your regular, slow, controlled breathing. Just allowing it to happen and your whole self to synchronize. And take a moment of quietness to appreciate just how you are right now. That's good. Now that you've once more achieved this state of deep relaxation, listening only to the sound of my voice and relaxing in rhythm with your breathing. You may begin to feel curious about what you will learn this time. And perhaps you can begin to feel somewhere deep inside a tiny glow of satisfaction because you are now thinking and acting differently. You've understood and allowed yourself the capacity to make important changes. Changes which will significantly improve your life and your happiness. Now, as you drift gently downwards into a deeper state of relaxation, conscious only of the gentle rhythm of your breathing and the sound of my voice, I'd like you to prepare to use your powerful imagination to do some things. And these things I will ask you to do may be easy. 
or they may be more challenging. However, I'd like you to know that these things you will be doing will help you. Help you to make the change that you've promised yourself to make. I'd like you to go inside now and find a time in the recent past when you were angry. A time when you were angry and you allowed it to show. Maybe the very last time that you allowed your anger to take centre stage. outside your control. Please do that now. Well done. Now, as you remember that time, you may begin to feel traces of how you felt. Perhaps that familiar heat when anger begins to surge. Don't worry if you're feeling it now, it's only for a short time. Now, if you found that feeling somewhere, go a little deeper. Find whereabouts in your body it's located. Because it has a place where it hides. See if you can do that now. Good. You've located the source of that feeling, so you can go even deeper inside and examine it more closely. Maybe it has a particular shape or a unique color or texture. It might be dark or bright, heavy or light. It's your own feeling, so only you will know. And it's private to you, so there's nothing to fear. It's a real thing and you can focus as much as you feel is appropriate. And for the very first time, you can become familiar with that feeling in a safe place. And by becoming familiar with it, not accepting, not rejecting, you see that it's something which you believe you can learn to control and manipulate. Focus only on the impression you have of that feeling as it grows clearer and more defined. Now, as you coexist with this feeling you found, deep inside, safe and calm. I'd like you to ask a question. A question to yourself, but which will be clearly heard by your subconscious mind. You can speak the words aloud if you like, or not if you prefer. The question you now ask is this. What is the emotion that's contained within this feeling? And now you wait, quietly and patiently, and if your subconscious mind is ready to help, you can now allow it to reveal the answer 
what is the emotion that's contained within this feeling? Have you found an answer? You may have learned that the emotion inside this feeling is sadness, which may be because of something that you heard or experienced that hurt you perhaps a long time ago. If that's the answer you're receiving, that's fine, just accept it. Or you may discover that anxiety is inside the angry feeling. And that may be because you hold a fear inside you. Even if you can't be precise about the nature of that fear or how it came to be there. Now, you may perceive that you're alone in this clear, calm space. Just you and that feeling you're working with. However, I can tell you now that there's something else in that space with you, and that's your heart. Now, this isn't your heart that pumps blood around your body and keeps you alive. This is your heart that contains all the love that you have. All the love that you receive. Which may be more than you've noticed. And love that you have to give. Particularly love you have for yourself but you don't often show. So create an impression now of your heart bursting with love in that quiet space with you and your angry feeling. And when you have that impression the way you want it, just allow your heart to release the love it has stored and direct that flow of love from your heart straight towards your angry feeling. And as that stream of love passes smoothly from its source to its ultimate destination, you may begin to notice the feeling change. Maybe changing colour or size or shape as the love you're sending from your heart starts to overwhelm and neutralise the anxiety or sadness that you found there before. And you can maintain this flow of love from your heart, which has an infinite supply, towards your angry feeling. And the more you send, the less problematic your feeling becomes, reducing, dispersing, and lessening until it's almost completely gone. That's good. And you know that you could stay here forever, sending love from your heart to your angry feeling. However, there are other things to do. So now that you've understood that you can send love to neutralize your anger, your anxiety, or your sadness, Whenever you choose to do this, you can send a final message to that fading feeling to let your subconscious mind know that you understand that you've been hurting yourself for such a long time for no good reason. The promise you make to yourself, to your subconscious mind here and now, is that you have only love to give and you're ready to give love to your feelings each and every time you experience a shift of emotion 
which you know has no positive outcome. So now you have the knowledge to be able to do this smart, clever, positive thing you practiced. Just allow your mind to clear now and return yourself to the original memory of that last time you felt angry. And create an impression of how that situation would have been if you'd already learned to send unlimited flows of love and self-respect to cool down and calm your darker emotions. Do that now. That's good. Just let it fade and allow yourself to drift. And it's clear to you now that with one simple adjustment, a modification that will become automatic to you as you practice it more and more each day, you have made a much bigger and more significant change. You have, by your own control, completely reverse the polarity of your emotions. Your response to those situations that caused you emotional pain in the past is now to douse the fire with love from the unlimited supply you have in your heart. You've made yourself thoroughly familiar with your anger You've examined it closely and you've traced the emotion inside. So now you control it. It does not control you. It will never be your friend, but you can have a respectful relationship in which you are in charge. And right now, I'd like you to invite your subconscious mind to make known any issues or resistance to this new way of feeling. If your subconscious knows any other reason why you shouldn't complete this change, now is the time to reveal it. So just listen closely while I remain quiet for a few moments. Good. If you've discovered anything else that needs to be corrected, just go inside and do that now. Well done. You can relax again now and clear your mind because you've done so well. You've been firm and brave and so much progress has been achieved. And because you've offered your subconscious mind the opportunity to fully participate in the change, this new way of thinking and feeling has been fully accepted and it will remain at your disposal to use as you see fit at any time in the future. If angry feelings begin to appear, you deal with them internally with love from your heart. Because there's no reason to show them to anyone else. You are the only one who can support yourself this way. And whilst you stay strong, recognize and acknowledge what is happening and act accordingly, you protect yourself from the loss of control that used to be so destructive. You take care of yourself properly in every way. You always maintain your balance because you know that the small effort you make causes a huge 
and long-lasting benefit. A benefit which brings light and warmth to every aspect of your life. Well done. In a moment, I'm going to count from one up to three. At the count of three, your eyes are going to open. You'll become fully alert and totally refreshed. Any cobwebs that you might have had, any sleepiness of mind is going to dissolve and disappear and you're going to feel bright-eyed and full of energy. You'll be fully alert and wonderful and marvellous in every way. All right, get ready. One, slowly, easily, gently feel yourself coming back up to your full awareness. At the count of two, you're still relaxed and calm, but notice that your eyes under your eyelids feel as if they're clearing, kind of like they're being bathed in a sparkling cool mountain stream and you feel great. On the next count, those eyes are going to open, totally alert, fully refreshed, just feeling excited and wonderful in every way. And every time you go into hypnosis, you can let yourself go deeper than the time before, because you know that just feels good. All right, get ready. And on the count of three, open those eyes and notice how good you feel. Welcome back. Just take a moment to collect your thoughts and clear your mind, that's good. I hope by now that you've grasped the core principle of our work together. That is to accept and value yourself more completely. Your past does not define you, neither does it influence your future. What you've been doing does not serve you, so you've decided to change and you're now executing that change. Love always puts out emotional fires. And now you've discovered that you have an unlimited supply of the stuff, you know exactly what to do. See you in the next session.